Hey guys, what's up? Casey DeBritis here, and I'm joined today by Brandon Tyrell. Again, and back. This, Hi. Yeah. Brandon has been super into Monster Hunter, so I yeah. wanted to have him back to get some advice on this Monster of the Week, Basil Juice. No advice. Bagel Goose. Ba Bas Bas B-52. Exploding bad words. Yeah. <laughs> the Party Crasher, the Basil Juice, the B-52. Uh, just the big jerk. Yeah. Case, really. He's the this, biggest jerk. This guy's all about just showing up whenever the worst possible <laughs> moment is. Yeah. So after you beat the, the main story and yeah. then get the HR-29, you unlock a quest called Beyond the Blasting Scales where you have to fight two of these right. basil geese. Right. <laughs> basil juice. Basil guy. I don't know. Basil, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say juice. I'm gonna say basil juice because it's named after the star Beetlejuice, mm -hmm. and that's how it's it's spelled the same and pronounces. Mm -hmm. So it should be pronounced the same, right? I don't know. English doesn't make any it sense. It sounds about right. So and like not. Beetlejuice, I feel like if you say his name three times, he just shows up. All the time. All the time. As you can see, his known habitats are everywhere. Yeah. Uh, he's, a, he's a free flyer. He's a jerk. He can show up all the time. Uh, my main advice to counter him in the wild is to throw poop at his face. Yeah. Uh, Carry dung pops all the time, throw them at this basil juice, and he will leave. Does not like dung. But uh, today, we're going to actually fight him. So, <laughs> yeah, today we're actually going to kill the basil juice. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, the thing at its weakest to most is thunder. And also, if you look at its weak points, its wings are weakest to long-range attacks. Right. So, so projectiles. If you have a projectile in for the wings, which mm -hmm. is not hard, because no. this guy has the wing spread of a large plane. It's, they're very large. We also hate this guy. Yeah. So I'm going to, I, like I said, I use sword and shield. I use it to beat the two tempered basil juice, basil juice. What, what's the plural of juice? Just, just. Juices? Juices? <laughs> two juices. Basil juices. Basil juices. Oh no. Where um, am I? Oh yeah. I was talking to the research guy. So, uh, I still kind of had a hard time with yeah. the sword and shield. I had to take it really slow, really methodically. And for today's episode, I was like, okay, I need to figure out a different weapon that is a little bit more fast paced and reliable. So I picked up the bow. Yeah, which is, mm -hmm. is funny because we were talking about this before. I mm -hmm. knew you were using the bow and I thought the bow is just the best weapon to fight this guy for two reasons. One, you can take him out of the air. Two, you can do it from a distance. And a lot of his damage comes from being below him or mm -hmm. like on the ground level. Yeah. Um, surprisingly, he still does a lot of damage, like if you're if you're flying with the insect glaive, yeah. uh, he does a lot of like shoulder tackles. Mm -hmm. But I think with the bow, like it's sort of your best chance to like do consistent damage output mm -hmm. and still stay relatively safe. Um, alongside the fact that he's just huge. Yeah, so like if you get really a good big. piercing shot, that thing is gonna go through like 40 feet of, of basil yeah. juice before <laughs> uh, before it stops. Yeah. So and with that note, I think light bow guns and heavy bow guns would be would work well too. Yeah. Uh, I just chose the bow just because I thought it would be fun to try it out. That um, is incredible headgear. Yeah, it, this is the Xenogiva's headgear. It doesn't <laughs> look like that on my boss. character. Is this the yeah, female version? Yeah, this is the female version. Okay. It looks totally different. So you guys have a chest piece with wings. Yeah. We have this really cool hair. My chest piece doesn't have wings. But I, mean, I do have red hair. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so this is probably not the best bow build, but I don't have the really rare jewels and decorations yeah. needed to make Power, power shot. One? Yeah, Yeah, I don't have those. So now, are, are you running like a, a crit bow build here, or are you running yes. like a stamina heavy bow build to allow I'm you kind to of continue to dodge? I'm doing a little bit of both. So mm -hmm. I, I put in some defensive as well. So against, so Basil Juice can use um, fire and blast. Right. So to prevent blast blight, I have blight resistance, which comes from the Xenogiva waste and a jewel. Um, if you don't have that, if you get um, anti blast instead, so you don't have to worry about getting blown up because you have to roll a few times to get that off. You also have to roll a few times to get off the fire. Right. Um, and that's really annoying, especially if you don't have a weapon that can be put away fast enough. Constitution um, reduces stamina depletion with performing stamina training moves. So like every time you dodge or if you it takes a little bit draw. Less. Yeah. So this is really good for just continuously getting shots off without having to worry about and your... And that, that synergizes pretty well with charge step too, right? Yeah. So like you can dodge, but it also charges your bow up by mm -hmm. one level. Exactly. So. so you can just like continuously chain yeah. your charge shots or like better anyway. Um, this is really weakness exploit. Is suspicious. It's standard across yeah. the board. Yeah. Every, every build should have weakness it exploit. It is the best affinity raising thing. It's much better than critical eye. It's better than any of your other affinity raising skills. Right. It's just more uh, efficient. I mean, 50% increased affinity, and it's especially good against Basil Juice because he has such a huge 
yeah. weakness area with his wings. His wings, his hit. head, and his tail yeah. are, are all proc, all of it. All proc weakness exploit. Mm -hmm. And what's really great about this is like if you if you use the Diablos uh, weapons as well that have just a natural like negative twenty <laughs> or thirty percent affinity, uh, this negates that essentially yes. because you don't care about damage you don't hit on a weak point is just kind of trash damage in mm -hmm. for most monsters because their their weak points are so accessible. Um, so weakness exploit allows you to to go into those heavy hitting raw damage weapons. And the, and what you said the Diablos weapons, the Diablos bow is a great yeah. option for this. It's I just incredible. went ahead and made a Toby Kadachi bow because it's weak to electricity and it's what I could make on hand. Toby so I just comboed that with the critical element so it increases my element damage Perfect. when landing critical hits. So a pretty good yeah. combo with that. So you're gonna crit basically every shot you hit on a weak point. That's and what I'm gonna try to do. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna double up on that elemental damage. Mm -hmm. Yep, and then divine blessing, like I always recommend, just another, in case you do get hit, staple. might save you. Um, and then this increases the uh, dragon piercer, which right. is the Zen two Zena diva uh, pieces that I have. Um, this is just a throwaway slot. I had a level two gem slot. I didn't yeah. know what else to put in there, so I'm just yeah. using this because I don't have a constitution jewel. Have you ever thought about like <laughs> earplugs? Yes, but it with one level of earplugs, it doesn't really do anything. Yeah, it, yeah, you need a really high level of it, and I don't, so I didn't bother. And this is just more throwaway stuff that I just yeah. have. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, go fight this thing. Now, Neat. are you bringing specific coatings or anything? Yeah. So my bow can use uh, paralysis coatings and power coatings. It's so those standard. are the ones I'm bringing. Yeah. Um, I also brought stuff to make more. Um, and I also, if you look at my radial menu, I have flash pods up here. Um, I can make more shock traps just to immobilize Basil Juice so I can get my Dragon Piercer shot off right. more reliably. Um, and I, I, yeah, there he is. He's go, he always goes this way first in this quest. <laughs> right, so, so start at, what is it, southeast camp site? Yes. Yeah, South I think campsite? east. East. <clears throat> Whatever the first one yeah. is. Yeah, the one that I went to. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this is that's also the same tent you want to go to if you're fighting Kushala de Aura. Right. I'm gonna drink my dash juice. Because he appears up here, right? Yep. And uh, put on this rock steady mantle so he can't oh, roar at me. I hate his face so uh. much. And then always open with a dragon piercer because yeah. he can. Yep. He's and not gonna roar at me. When you do the see what Casey just did when you do a dragon piercer shot on this guy, uh, try to aim for his head while he's facing you or his tail while he's facing away from you. Because you want the arrow to travel the length of his body. I just realized I didn't drink my Mega Demon Drug or my Armor Skin. I don't know if you're going to need it. That's fine. I'll just drink it when I have the chance to do it. Oh, you will definitely yeah. need it. Yeah. He does a lot of damage, guys. <laughs> okay, so he's got a couple of movesets. I'm sure if you've played Monster Hunter long enough, if you've finished the uh, first part of the main story and gotten into HR quests, you've seen him before. Um, so he, he's kind of a bully up close. He uh, does this. Yes. He comes up and either hits you with his head, or he drops his um, his blast pods, and then does a uh, like a grinding head motion into you. So really, he's a lot of like vertical damage. Uh, he does have a tail swipe that has a pretty large radius. Ooh. Oh, but by and large, he's going to be doing a lot of that to you. Um, and then he's also got a series of aerial moves that we'll talk about when he inevitably does it. Because he's a big jerk. I didn't know you had a, a, wall, oh, no. a wall bound. Yeah, it's actually power really shot. cool. It's really strong and um, it gets off multiple arrows at the same time. Right. Use some of that power coating. Oh, cool. Let's see. No. Oh, that was a bad move, guys. Oh, bad move. That's not what you want. <laughs> I thought he was paralyzed for a second, but I totally misread that. Yeah. Now, oh, now no. this, is, this is one of his most annoying things is yeah. he does this bombing run. Can you look up? Yeah. Well, well, he does this bombing run where he strafes twice, uh, dropping these pods in straight lines, and he'll always go toward you. And then on the third time he comes back, he'll uh, he'll basically just careen right into you. Uh, and when he crashes, it explodes. Any any of the pods he hits. I think he's leaving. Uh, no. Nope. Such a jerk. The great thing is, is that he does telegraph, and his moves are. Uh, they take so long, the animations are really, really long. Um, so like when he sticks his head in the ground and just sort of like bull rushes into you, if you can dodge that early enough, you can set up a dragon piercing shot and just hit him on the return. You do have enough time. Sort of like Casey's doing right now. 
Not too far away for that. Uh, of let's see, what else? You can Ooh. shred his wings, his tail is severable, correct? Yeah. Yes. Um, and then you can break his face, which I highly recommend. He's very sad. Yeah, I, I, I'd say this is probably the most hated monster in Monster Hunter World. Yes. Right? Oh my god, I hate him so much. <laughs> He's just a huge a hole because he shows up at the worst moment. I thought I'd jump over him. I'm not that, I'm not that sly. <laughs> It's gonna be close. Oh no. Nice. Nice. And also, you do severing damage with your red regular arrows, but you do um, stun damage and uh, one damage with your no, with like this move, that thing. Oh, the charge. Okay, yeah, the the. I don't even know what it's called. Uh. Yep. I don't know. I'm I don't sure. know what it's called, guys. It, it says it. It says it in the. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't use the bow. Wait, 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 I think you can do it. So, like, aim with the bow? Like, charge a shot? Oh, yeah, that's right. It'll... Oh, no. What? No. Take out my bow. There it is. All right. Uh, arc shot, dragon piercer. Oh, it's the, it's the arc it's shot. It's the arc shot. Yeah, okay. Ugh, wasted that coating. That's fine. I'm, I'm gonna go this way. Mm-hmm. So now we're hunting him down. Yeah, I'm gonna take another and dash juice because I'm out. Yeah, it seems pretty straightforward when you're using a bow. Um, you I, like you've seen a lot of his moves are really just like powerful, <laughs> close up. Like he does move a long distance, but mm -hmm. a lot of that danger comes from being too close to him. Um, oh, you shot trapped him. Yeah, he's annoying. I'd like to kill him as fast as possible. Are you gonna go for the kill? Or are you gonna try to trap him? Uh, eh, I'm probably just gonna kill him. Smart. I mean, uh, capturing is better for rewards. Yeah. But I'd rather show the whole fight play out because sometimes monsters. Um, In rage or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Their attack patterns will change. This guy's pretty straightforward. He does this the entire fight. Yeah. Um, he does glow red, and I actually don't know what that means aside from the fact that his, his pods explode on impact rather than just hitting the ground. Um, they're already ignited, so like once they hit the ground, they basically have a, uh, uh, they're like little time bombs. Oh, I hate his face. Oh, uh, no. But if you decide to play oh, Monster no. Hunter in any capacity past High rank. Um, so he'll he'll come back again, dropping more. Ooh, nice! So flash pod. You can take any monster out of the air if you hit him with a flash pod in their face. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to have those. You can only carry three at a time, but. And you can make more. So if you um, add the crafting to your um, to your radio menu and have flash bugs with you. Auto craft. Yeah. Yeah. You can. Um... Ooh, he's limping. Yeah. Now, if they're unignited, I don't remember. Do these actually explode? I think they do. They will if you Just hit them. eventually. I think he's going to sleep. That was kind of fast, guys. <laughs> yeah. The bow, man. The bow and the dragon piercer. It hits him eight, nine times. Something like that. Right. And whenever you're sleeping, you got to make sure to put down those bombs. Right. This is the uh, basil, basil juice alarm clock. Yeah. Because he will always... Um... It's what he deserves. And dragon pierce. Yeah. So you're dashing to do quick charges, right? Yeah. Ooh! <laughs> yeah! Damn! Screw you, Basil Juice! Damn. Picked up the bow just so I could kill you more efficiently, and it totally worked. <laughs> <laughs> she says, laughing in glee. Uh, it's fine. It's what he deserves. Uh, it's really, it was a mercy more than anything. Where's his body? Where'd uh, it's it go? The, it's on the other side. He fell off the cliff. Oh, you yeah. hit, you oh. hit him so hard that he went off the cliff. <laughs> other side. Left. There. Uh, Nailed it. Uh, uh, he was blinding into all those rocks, man. Yeah. Um, so yeah. yeah, I mean, uh, get yourself a bow. Um, um, get get yourself, you know. So some of the some things bombs. that I was doing with the bow. So um, a lot of people recommend focus for the bow to increase your charge speed. Right. But it's actually faster just to, to use dash, dash yeah. to get it up. Um, so you'll like if you're trying to charge for a dragon piercer, what I would do is like I charge up one and then dash to get that mm -hmm. second one faster, and right. then I can do the dragon piercer. Um, there's another combo. I mean, you could do the Dragon Piercer without charging, but like, Yeah, it why? does more damage. So, and yeah. also, I was doing quick rapid hits, 
because it automatically charges up one level each time you rapid hit. So if you're just tapping R, the first one will be just regular, the second one will be level one, the third one will be level two. Okay. So, so it'll automatically power up if you're rapidly hitting. Um, That's cool. Which wasn't an efficient way to do the bow, to use the bow in previous Monster Hunter games, but... Eight minutes. Eight minutes Oh my flat. gosh. Nice job. That's actually the best run I've ever had. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. Well, <laughs> saw it here first. Down here. Here we go. Basil. Um, oh boy. I think I have pigment on right now. Yeah. Here. So I'm going to turn that off. You uh, look like a grown up version default. of the uh, girl from Brave. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here's the, the default. I actually prefer the, uh, the red hair. Actually. Yeah. Well, yeah. you can change it. Um, but Basil Juice comes with earplugs. Which is yeah, really, amazing. really useful. Um, I, the rock steady mantle that I was using with Basil Juice was so helpful because it won't, it makes it so that his roars don't interrupt me, and so that when you get tapped, they don't interrupt your dragon piercer. Right. And so earplugs are super useful when you're using the bow for that reason. Um, but I was just using the rock steady mantle instead. Yeah. Um, but yeah, a lot of like really it gives you guard, critical draw, which is really good for things like a great sword, and you can actually use this for a bow build as well. Um, uh, critical draw being your like charge so, draw. So like your first attack, like your draw attack, yeah. will have increased rapidity. Right. So if you get it up to level three, you're, it'll be a hundred percent. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, there's only some weapons like can really capitalize off that, right? Like there are yeah. some uh, weapons that have awesome wake up attacks. Mm -hmm. like, Insect glaive is not one of them, um, and I don't think the dragon piercer is a draw attack, right? So it actually can be. It can be. I have not tested out that build. So you aim and then but just hit both buttons together. I think. Got it. Yeah, I guess that would be considered. Oh yeah, because if you don't let go, you haven't attacked yet. Right. You've only taken your. You're just your charging weapon out. Up, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I don't know if Basil Juice has a tree. I think he. Um, I know he does blast stuff, so maybe not for. I, yeah, his parts go into weapons for sure. Mm -hmm. I just can't. I don't think he's got his own tree. I know it would be a blast weapon. I know Longsword does, actually. Menus. Ah, so many menus. Aren't they exciting? Yeah, here we go. Longsword has one. And the third time's a charm. I just had to pick the right one. You did it. Rock Slayer. Um, <laughs> How appropriate. Yeah, negative 10% affinity, but a lot of blast in two slots, so it's pretty good. Yeah, and plus, I mean, if you it throw... Looks, oh, you can't see it because my helmet. Wow, that thing is <laughs> dope. It's cool though. It's really neat looking. It's kind of like I love his face the, at the top. I love that the serrated teeth on the sword look like his his scales. His yeah, his blasting fluid, scales. Fluid pods. Man, so do you have any advice for players who are using the insect glaive against Bells of Juice? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> generally, attacking him head on, you got to learn a ground game with Basil Basil Juice, just because he spends so much time on the ground. So uh, generally, what I tend to do is, a, I mean, always keep your buffs up. That's like. 101 for an inside glaive guy, but when you go up, don't ever attack straight ahead because so many of his attacks, even if you look like you're passing over him, that charge underneath has a huge hitbox. So I always uh, jump at like 45 degree angles and then uh, jump, boost 45 to the left or the right, and then attack 45 to the left or the right. Once you get behind him on the wings, it's pretty easy to mm -hmm. stay there. Uh, That's the best spot. If you're if you're doing a close range weapon, right behind his wings yeah. in between is like feet and tail this sort of area right yeah. here because then you'll miss all of the stuff that he drops on the floor yeah, pretty much um you know when you shred him and he goes down i think the tooltip says focus on the feet and when mm -hmm. he knocks down you can knock off those pods yeah. don't just don't do that just <laughs> ignore that completely um just dance around his wings and his tail and mm -hmm. uh, it should be pretty good yeah and when he is glowing maybe stay away from him yeah because he's just going to be exploding everywhere and it's not worth it just wait for him to drop all of his stuff by yeah. stuff, I mean exploding scales that will probably kill you in one or two hits. And hey, you know what? <laughs> if uh, if he kills you or you kill it, don't worry, because yeah. you'll see him again the very next quest. Yeah, it'll be fine. Well, that's it for Monster of the Week. I'm Casey DeFridis. You can find me on Twitter at ShinyKCD. Where can they find you? Brandon Tyrell. You can find me on Twitter at Brandon Tyrell. Thanks Super a lot creative. for watching. Happy hunting. <laughs>